Today I'm going to show you how to set up and some of the features of the all new signal board from Cressy. So fresh out of the box, you're going to have the float, the die flag, your line, and then the two bladders that go inside the board itself. So first off to get this set up, we need to put the bladders inside of the float. In the center of the float, there's this long zipper here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And we're gonna shove it down inside of the float. Now the reason for the two separate bladders is so that way, just in case one gets punctured, the other one can still float the board and you know get you through the rest of your dive or get you back to shore. Because um, you know accidents do happen, so this is kind of a preventative measure. So now that we have both of these inside of the float, you can see that you have easy access to blow up the bladders from the middle zipper here. So let's go ahead and get this inflated. Just like that, you have an inflated float. So the top of the signal board is gonna be made of a highly durable material. It's a TPU material. And then the bottom is gonna be a mesh material. And the reason for that is because this allows water to drain out of the float very easily and doesn't allow the float to become waterlogged and tough to carry around. On the top, you're gonna to have a bunch of different tie down points in here. And then over here, you will have a pouch that houses a whistle. This comes with the float. You can put anything from dive weights into here, little accessories, anything like that. And then here you will have a pass through pouch. So keep that closed at one end and it's perfect to put another mask in or carry any of your dive equipment down with, lock that into place and it's not gonna go anywhere. There is D-rings pretty much all over this float for tying stuff down, anything that you need. Um, you know, to secure anything down on the top and on the bottom. This float also has three spear gun tie down points and they work somewhat like this. So on the top, you are gonna put the band side that way. Go ahead and cinch that down. And on the back, you will have these Velcro straps. Velcro the back down like so. At that point, you have a spear gun locked into place. And then over here on the top side, you will see a metal hole. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the dive flag and basically split the two bladders down the middle. And that is gonna go all the way through to the bottom like so. And at that point, the dive flag is locked in place. You take your line, clip one end of the line, off to this D-ring, the other end off to your weight belt or something on your person. And at this point, you have a fully ready dive float with everything you need to go for a day of diving.